and he got so mad with me like he just blew up you know he was so angry and I was like what So I'm no stranger to the online dating world. Um, me personally, I don't, I didn't like it um, because people are crazy. People are crazy, and um, you know, I had an experience where this guy he was trying to move too fast. He was trying to come over to my place the first day. It was just a hot mess, and I was like, "Hell no, you're not coming to my place." Um, and he got so mad with me, like he just blew up, you know, he was so angry and I was like, what? And this was like my first experience with this. So I already was on the fence about it, you know, and then that happened. And I'm like, you know what? And then, yeah, so I, after two days, I deleted my account and that's when I prayed and asked God, like, you know what? I'm just going to be single until you bring me that right guy you know what I want you know what I need and so you you know I'm not I'm not dating anyone until I know it's from you Lord that's what I said to myself it's a lot of people that enjoy online dating they feel like it's fun you know um Yeah, they feel like it's fun. Um, I've heard of some success stories with online dating, you know, so, but I've heard of more horror stories though with online dating. And yeah, so in this video, I just want to point out some things to just be careful, you know, just some things to be mindful of with the online uh, dating. And so the first thing is, as a Christian, should you do online dating? Now, my opinion about this, I don't recommend it, okay? I don't recommend it. I'm just going to say it. I don't recommend it because it's not safe. Um, people are crazy these days, and they uh, create all types of fake profiles. You just never know what you're getting it's it's so it's so risky and um i do want to touch a little bit about the news clip that i saw today it was two women this happened in california where they were models they didn't know each other these are two different homicides one they're investigating it one is like like they think it's a homicide they both were beautiful black women they were models and they were like in their early 30s um, but one of those girls told her mom that she was going out on a date and after that she never heard from her ever again so you know she went to her apartment and they discovered her body you know there so I'm going to link that story down in the description bar so y'all can check that out as well it's so sad it's two stories out of a billion stories through the years that you know this stuff has happened to women um and so yeah i'm gonna link that down below so y'all can check that out after this video okay and so it just made me think about um with online dating it's 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 so risky and the very first thing that i would suggest well like i said i don't I don't recommend it okay me personally but if you decide to do it I'm not gonna tell you what to do you know because who am I you know I'm not gonna tell you what to do but these are some tips that I have with that online dating okay so the first tip be very careful <laughs> that's obvious right be very careful because you don't know who you're meeting right do your research on these people google their names do background checks i mean this is before you even go on a date i recommend doing a background check but background checks that's legal do a background check the next thing is never invite them to your home ladies it's very important um i think with the last girl she 
invited the dude over to her apartment. That's a huge no-no. Like, ladies, like, oh my God, I cannot, I cannot stress this enough. Like, never invite a dude to your apartment for a first date. That is so dangerous. That is so dangerous. Okay? Always have the first date in a public setting like a restaurant where there's a lot of people around that is good for a first date okay once you've done your research on them and you see that they're a real person <laughs> you see that they're a real person okay and they don't have anything crazy on their history next thing is do not go to his home oh my god there's another one ladies do not go to his home and that's another thing too don't let him pick you up girl don't let him pick you up for the first date he could be a serial killer he pick you up and y'all never go to the date you know what i'm saying i mean it's been so many stories about that like drive your car separately do not get drunk where he has to take you home ladies that's a no-no that's a no-no okay um meet him at the restaurant and go home do not go back to his place you know you shouldn't be doing that until you really have you know can feel this man out you know where he works you know more about him and things like that but never for a first date ladies we have to be smart these days because it's so much going on with so many things i can't even say the names on youtube because I don't want to get flagged, but you know what I'm talking about. We live in a day and age where, where a certain thing is going on for women, you know, to be on the lookout and be, we, we have to be on high alert at all times. So it's very important that we pay attention and we do our research and we proceed with caution if we're going to do online dating. You know, we can't just be inviting these men over to our apartments and just being careless with our lives. This is your life. So you don't get another one. Once it's gone, it's gone. So, um, yeah, keep always keep that in mind. And the next thing is pay attention to your gut instinct. If that man is talking crazy and or you just get a he don't even have to talk crazy but usually they'll say something and it'll kind of like you'll be like huh and it'll be like a red flag or it, it may not settle with you in your spirit either that or you will just have like that feeling deep down on the inside of you like deep down in your midsection where you'll know like I don't know if I should be going out with this person like you'll you'll have a bad feeling about it always pay attention to that ladies always pay attention and men too if men y'all watching because y'all you know it's some crazy women out there too so y'all have to be careful as well because these women be into all kind of crazy stuff and then they come into your life wreaking havoc and ruin basically ruining your life you know men go through the same thing but it's worse with women so always pray and ask God for discernment pray over that situation before you even go on the date even if it's a public setting pray and if you have a bad feeling about it if you feel like I shouldn't I, sh I shouldn't go to this I just feel bad about it that is the Holy Spirit talking through you on the inside that's trying to warn you that something bad may happen to you so always pay attention I believe you know I can't really speak on these women but they may have had a bad feeling if nothing else they may have had a bad feeling about it and then you know you know look what happened so always, you know, people have been in a lot of trouble. A lot of people have lost their lives by not paying attention to their gut instinct. That's number one, actually. That should have been number one, your gut instinct. You have to pay attention to that, and you cannot ignore that because that is God. 
That is God trying to warn you through the Holy Spirit. And we can never be too far away from God. I don't care how far you are in your sin and you feel like God is not there. God is right there because he's on the inside of all of us. And that's why we have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us. And so that's like our telephone line to God himself. So I don't care how far in your sin you are. You're never too far from God. And you're never too far from the Holy Spirit. Call on that. Call on the Holy Spirit. Call on God to give you discernment. Pray about that person before you go on a date with them. And this goes for any date. This doesn't have to be online dating. This is for all dating. You know, so it's just some things to keep in mind, you guys. Um, if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one coaching call, you can send me an email at contactcoachcourtney at gmail.com or you can check out my website at coachcourtney.org. Okay? And... We can, we can talk, we can chit chat. I can give you some of my advice, things that, you know, whatever you're going through, I'll be a listening ear. Give you some good big sister, sisterly <laughs> advice. Cause I am your big sister. And so, yeah, um, you know, I want you ladies and men, I want y'all to be safe. Hit me up if you would like to talk and we can set that up. And you can tell me what's going on. We can go from there. So until next time, you guys, I love you. Bye.